What is up you guys? So I am starting this vlog a little bit later in the day, um, but it is currently Monday um, and I'm just cooking up some lunch. I'll show you guys what I'm having. Um, but I'm really excited because this is my beginning of keto vlog. Um, so I started keto last week and I've been really, really loving it so far. This is day eight. I've done it for like a full week now, um, really tested it out. I wanted to give it a go before I got on camera with you guys and like shared my thoughts and stuff about it. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. My kitchen is a mess. Um, but yeah, so I'm just cooking up some lunch now and I'm starving. I went to the gym this morning, so I got my workout in. I've had breakfast, I've had my first snack, um, but I'm about to make a pot of coffee to keep in the refrigerator too because it's so hot. I don't want hot coffee. And I've been really bad about drinking like my bulletproof coffee because I just don't want it. So I'm thinking if I make it iced, maybe I'll want that more. Alrighty, so this is just what I'm having for lunch. Um, I just have one like hamburger patty and then I have 3.55 ounces of mixed pepper and onion and I just sauteed this all in a pan together on like high heat and I just made sure that this is like cooked through completely and I just sauteed it in some butter and I also added a teeny, teeny, tiny sprinkle of garlic on the veggies and then a little bit of salt and pepper on the patty. So while I'm sitting here eating my lunch, I just thought that I would kind of have a chat with you guys a little bit why I'm doing keto. I've gotten some questions like what is keto, all this kind of stuff. Um, so if you don't know what keto is, I would recommend just like Googling it because it's gonna take me forever to try and explain it to you. Um, but basically, I'm just really changing the way I eat um, and hoping that it changes how I feel. And thus far, after a week, it's been super successful. Um, I've really, really been liking it. So basically, keto, you're just eating very high fat, like moderate to high protein and little to no carbs. I think right now I'm currently at like under... 20 carbs 20 grams of carbs per day um and i'm basically just doing this because i don't feel very good about myself i just i don't feel good as a person and i don't feel good in my skin um there's just been a lot of things leading up to this it's time i used to be in great shape and really health conscientious and just so many life changes lately and all that kind of stuff has just kind of led me to spiraling into so many unhealthy habits and just being overall unhappy. So um, it's really just something for me that I want to challenge myself to do and just push myself to be better. And especially while Nick is away for the next nine months, this is a time where I can really focus on myself and set some goals and just really challenge myself um so i am doing it for my mental and physical health i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and say that i don't want to look better of course i'm doing it for those reasons as well but i just it's time for a change i've had enough and i just i need to do something um so so far i've really really been enjoying it it's been not as difficult as i thought it was going to be I am following a meal plan to ensure that I'm doing everything correctly and being healthy and safe. So many people have come at me already because I've been posting stuff on Instagram that keto is horrible for you, it's not sustainable long term, all this stuff. And while I appreciate all of that genuinely, I'm making my own path, I'm taking my own little journey. So I just don't need a bunch of opinions. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's been going really, really well. In eight days, I have seen a five or six pound, it kind of fluctuates, five or six pound loss already and also a 2% drop in my body fat. So I know these are kind of like beginner gains. It's not gonna be that much consistently, um, but I do have a good amount of weight I do wanna lose and a lot of body fat I wanna lose. So I'm really happy with those results thus far. 
I know, I just really enjoy it. It's something, I love all the food. It's something I don't feel restricted or anything like that. And I think that a lot of people are interested. A lot of people are interested in health and fitness and that kind of thing. And although I'm not an expert by any means, I thought it would be cool if I just like take you along with me and show you everything that I do. Um, and we can learn together. And if you have any tips, tricks, helpful things, like share them with me. Um, but yeah, this is, this is pretty much it. This is the start. I'm hoping that by also vlogging, I'm kind of keeping myself accountable. You guys are watching. I know that you guys are making sure I'm doing my stuff. Um, so I'm going to try and do this. I think for at least like six months. Um, the meal plan I'm currently on is in, it runs for 12 weeks, but it's in four week increments. So my meals change three times basically, which like, yeah, I feel like I'm eating the same stuff all the time, but the meals are super good. So I really can't complain. Super simple. I'm home so I can cook. Um, and now that the first week has passed where I haven't had any carbs, I feel like my fatigue has gotten a lot better. I did have a few days where I had keto flu, but I didn't really have flu symptoms. I was just dead. Like I couldn't even get up off the couch. I was exhausted. Um, so once all that subsided, I'm feeling really, really good now. I feel energetic. I've been working out every day with the exception of my rest days, of course. Um, I haven't done like a ton of cardio just because I hate cardio um, and I'm trying to build up to it. I haven't worked out in like weeks. It's bad. So we're starting slow, but we're starting, which is important. So I also wanted to tell you guys that I got, I've been like using a bullet journal lately which I think is so fun, A, because it's like a creative outlet for me. And it also keeps me really organized and accountable and just gives me a good place to like dump thoughts in my head because there's a lot going on up there. <laughs> and it just helps me kind of like make sense of things and like get organized and get my life in order. So this is just some of the like the cute stuff I've been doing. Um, and I actually started this page I was working on earlier. Um, but I started a page for like weight tracking, measurement tracking. Um, the weight so much for me is not as important as how I look and feel. So that's just kind of a benchmark to see that I'm like progressing, but I'm not getting bent over, bent out of shape over that. Um, but I have a place where I'm using my starting measurements and all that kind of stuff. So I want to be like very conscientious to keep track of things and really hold myself accountable and like stick through it because consistency is my biggest issue and that's so frustrating to me so that's pretty much the update I'm going to finish my lunch good morning everyone so as you can tell I'm in my usual attire of baggy clothes <laughs> um, but it's currently nine o'clock I did sleep in a little bit today because I'm tired I don't know <laughs> it was just Yesterday, I did too much or I was all over the place, whatever, but I'm tired today. Um, but I actually need to run some errands and stuff and do all that. I need to go to Target and like get some groceries and um, just like little things for this weekend. Um, but I guess I should make breakfast. I'm deciding if I should just, what I should do. I really am craving Duncan like so badly even though yesterday I did eat those snacks at the movie by the way if you haven't seen Lion King it's so cute it's so good they did such a good job um, but just to quickly tell you guys what I had at the movies I had a spindrift like a seltzer and then I had a whole bag of one of these um, so there's two servings in this bag I think earlier when I was listing it off I only listed for one serving um, which was 23 crisps. So yes, I did eat 46 of them. Um, they were so good and I couldn't stop. So it was 300 calories total. Still only two grams of carb, 21 grams of fat and 27 grams of protein. So I definitely went over my macros. 
but I don't really care. Honestly, they were so good. And then I did end up eating two of the little peanut butter cup things from Atkins. Um, so that would have been, <laughs> shit, I ate a lot of fat yesterday. So that would have been 240 calories, 26 grams of fat, four grams of protein, and four grams of carbs. So I did eat a lot of fat, but this is what they look like. They're just like cute little like individually wrapped chocolates. And I'm happy to report they're really good. They're not as sweet as like a Reese's, but I kind of like that better. Like I really, really like that. The texture and everything was totally normal, totally fine. Sometimes with those like sugar-free things, the texture is really weird, but those were super good. Um, so yeah, that was my movie snack yesterday and I'm just like feeling like I don't wanna count calories today either. So I'm following keto, but the calories I'm being a little bit flexible with. Um, so I think I'm just gonna make some eggs and bacon, truthfully, like nothing too crazy um, because I'm craving like savory breakfast. So I'm just gonna make myself like a little bulletproof coffee also, just really quick. Um, so I'm just taking coffee from, that I made yesterday. It's been in the fridge, so it's nice and cold. I'm just gonna pour like a drop of that in there. And then I'm taking this keto creamer. Marshall, you're good, buddy. You're good. He drinks so much water, he like makes himself sick. And you're drooling all over the floor. Um, this keto creamer, I actually got it from Walmart, but whatever it's the best i could find at the moment and it's coconut mcts grass-fed butter and a little bit of salt and it's basically supposed to boost your metabolism give you energy and improve your brain function kind of thing um so the serving size for this is two tablespoons and i never do two whole tablespoons because that's just a lot um But what I like to do, and it doesn't blend well in cold drinks I found, it gets, it stays a little bit chunky, so I mix it with a fork. Um, but I take like a spoon like this, not quite a table, I don't know if this is a tablespoon actually. Um, and I just do two of these guys, so. Just one, and you can see it's just like a white powder in there. It doesn't really taste like anything. Which I wish it was a flavored one. I need to find a flavored one because I've been craving like sweet iced coffees lately. So I fill this like three quarters of the way because I'm gonna throw in some ice and basically make like a cold brew type situation. Except for not as good, but You want an ice cube? I get you an ice cube. You want ice? You want ice? Good catch. You want ice too? You're not gonna eat it. I don't know why I gave it to you. Cover here. And then I just use a little plastic reusable straw. I do have a cap for this, but I don't know where it is and I never use it. Um, so I didn't do a very good job mixing this one. It just doesn't mix well in cold stuff. So if you have any suggestions of what creamer is really good, I don't really wanna make it from scratch because I'm lazy and I don't wanna buy like MCT oil and all that. I would like just like a pre-made creamer. So if you have any like keto creamer suggestions that taste really good, 
Let me know. This is what happens. It looks disgusting. I mean, it tastes fine, and you really can't taste, like, any of the chunkiness or anything like that. But, like, I don't know. And I've used this a ton. Like, I'm using it till it's empty because I don't want to waste food. But it's just, like, this top layer that, like, looks so gross. All right, so this is breakfast. I have three bacon slices, um, extra crispy and then I do have three eggs and I did end up sprinkling some cheese on there um, just because I know I'm gonna be like out running errands all day and I really want to stay full so I did make myself a little bit more than I would usually eat like a little bit higher in calories there I am back um, it's <laughs> much later in the day I've just been out running errands and doing some work and that kind of thing trying to get a, I'm watching True Blood, um, trying to get a video uploaded and just, it's it's not going up today. It's been an absolute disaster. Okay, hold on, I'll let you out one second. Um, but it's just been kind of like a work-filled day, like nothing, nothing too exciting. Um, it's like 7.45 right now and I need to eat because I haven't yet. Um, but I just took a shower. Um, I was gonna go to spin at seven, but I just decided that I needed a rest day. I'm like kind of tired and just like not feeling it. Um, so I just showered really quick and exfoliated and applied this new tan because I was really curious about it. Um, and it's pretty dark. This is one layer. Usually, <clears throat> usually I, <coughs> sorry, I have like a frog in my throat. <coughs> Usually I will layer up my self tanner like two or three layers. Um, I don't do my face That's why I'm like going like this so you can see the comparison um, So it's pretty dang dark. It smells so good. It smells like pineapple. It's like a tropical scent um, It is sticky though. I will say it's Tacky um, But I haven't eaten in a while so I need to make myself some dinner um, I didn't really have lunch. I just finished my coffee while I was running errands and then I had One of these Atkins bars just because I didn't feel like well No, I did cook myself lunch, but I didn't eat it. I don't know. I just wasn't hungry. So <sighs> I'm getting a little bit hungry now. Also, I'm in yesterday's t-shirt just because I am self-tanned and I don't want to dirty up another shirt just for that um, so I think that I'm going to try and fix something up with the leftovers I have. Hmm. I might use some of this leftover lamb and I have a head of cauliflower still that I want to use up before I leave because I don't want it to go bad. So I might do my cauliflower mac and just add some of the lamb in and then do like a side of veggies. That sounds pretty good. I think that's what we'll do. So I think I'm gonna do the cauliflower mac and cheese first because it takes the longest. Um, I'm just trying to find that recipe that I've been using. Um, so basically, oh shit, I need cream. Do I have cream? Oh, I do. Still got some. So basically what you need for this is obviously cauliflower. So I have all of this that I still need to use. Um, I also have, it calls for cheddar cheese, but I just used like the shredded Colby Jack. Um, and then you need some cream cheese and then some butter. So I've been like nursing this pack of cream cheese for like what feels like a year. Like it lasts such a long time. You really don't eat nearly as much as you think you do. But basically, where's my food scale? Food scale. What I'm gonna do first is measure out my cauliflower and you need 80 grams. So I just have this like cheap food scale. I think I got it off Amazon, honestly. Um, and I'm just gonna zero it out to... So I'm just gonna basically like, actually I can cut. Um, I'm just gonna like cut a few pieces off and I like to break them up. So that's what it looks like. And now I'm just gonna pop this 
in the microwave. And I do it for like three minutes so that way it softens up a little bit so I don't have to cook it as long. I just have to cook it long enough so that um, the cheese and all that kind of stuff melts. Um, so now in a saucepan, I'm going to measure out um, 20 grams of cheddar cheese, 20 grams of cream cheese, and 80 gram, oh no, 70 milliliters of cream. So I'm just going to simmer all of these ingredients, if you can see, um, on like low heat for, oh, and I'm gonna add some pink Himalayan salt, just a little bit. And then I'm going to throw in some pepper. And I'm basically just gonna make a sauce. So that's literally all there is to it. It's so super easy. People ask me all the time. Well, not all the time, because I just started doing this, but every time I like show it on my Instagram, like 10 people will ask me like, what is the recipe? How do you make it? And it's literally so freaking simple. So this is kind of what our cheesy sauce is looking like. Pretty good. I think all the lumps are out for the most part. So what I'm gonna do is take my cauliflower, oh shit, this bowl is still hot, and just dump that all in there. And I'm just going to coat everything. All right, and I've just added a little bit of the lamb that I cooked previously. Um, I should have like defrosted this, but it's kind of, hard now whatever um so basically it's just you can add bacon to this you can add like beef whatever you want i just need to use the rest of this meat so i'm just gonna let that cook down till it breaks apart kind of and then i will transfer it into this baking safe dish all right so now i'm just going to throw this in my air fryer um i have like the baking slash cook like i don't know i have the multi-purpose like air fryer so you can bake in this too so i'm actually just going to put it on fry though for like 10 minutes and then once this is up um then so it's basically 400 degrees for 10 minutes i'll let that kind of bubble away and then i will take it out stir it up and then sprinkle some cheese on top and then put it back in for another five minutes so it gets that like crispy layer on the top and really cooks through all the way all right people this is dinner looks pretty good i'm just gonna have this with a tall glass of water and that's pretty much it super simple hey guys so it is currently friday at like 6 p.m i'm actually getting ready to hit the road um but before i go i wanted to quickly test my ketones um a because i drank so much water i have to pee so bad but also um i just want to see where i'm at so that way when i get back i can kind of gauge like how bad i was um i'm not going to be the most strict i'm going to try i'm going to do my best but i'm also going to allow myself a few refeed meals and kind of just reset my metabolism because that is healthy too you need to kind of like keep it guessing so um the test strips that i use are these zenda ketone test strips and honestly i just got them off amazon they had like really really good reviews um and the little bottle just looks like so and you basically just pee on it all right so i just took two of these because the first one really wasn't taking so as you can tell i'm kind of in the small to moderate which usually i'm in the moderate to large so i'm wondering if it's because i just haven't eaten today all i had was some eggs for breakfast so I definitely need to eat something but we're still doing okay we're still we still have moderate which is kind of where we want to be we want to be between like 1.5 and 3 i think it is so not bad um i know where i am and i know what i need to do this weekend i also really quickly thought i would show you guys what all i packed snack wise so i have the beef jerky i have some of my whisks um i have a little bit of chocolate I have, what else do I have in here? I have some almonds, and in this pocket, I just have some like seltzer waters and things to keep me occupied while I'm driving. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I threw a few of the Adkins bars in here just for like a quick breakfast if I need because I think we're going to the beach. Um, and then I also have a pepper and cucumber I'm going to cut up. And in here I just have my um, BHBs. I have some Pepto just in case because when I travel my, my, my stomach gets really sensitive. Um, I just have my multivitamin and then I have some more stomach probiotic stuff so that's pretty much all I'm taking like food wise so I'm hoping that I can eat really fresh and like lots of salads lots of veggies and stuff this is truly just for like the car ride um, which I'm gonna eat dinner now and I'm just gonna have some meat and veggies so I don't think I'll need it but just in case Good morning, everybody. So it is currently Monday morning. Um, it's like 7.45. I actually just got home from a workout. I'm a little bit sweaty and disgusting. Um, and the house is a mess. What's new? Um, but so I got home from my trip yesterday and I just kind of wanted to conclude this vlog by showing you guys um, kind of where I'm at. Sorry, I'm like exhausted. Um, kind of where I am with like my ketone levels, like what my eating was like and that stuff so you can see. Um, so I used these test strips again and when I left, I was at um, moderate. I was between small and moderate because I wasn't like counting macros that week. Um, and I just did another little tester guy here. Um, and I kind of just want to show you what we're working with. I would say I ate like 75% keto and like 25% drank. <laughs> and um, I did have some carbs. So I'm gonna set this on, mm, the counter's probably not a good place because I'll set it on this notebook I have here. Um, so you guys can see a little bit of a comparison and I'm trying to do this in the sun so that way it's like, you can tell. So this is the negative strip, like before you use it, this is what it comes out out of the package and this is my strip here. So we can see that I have, I'm in like the small category. So I don't think I'm out because that would be negative. That would be this guy right here and it definitely changed a color. It's obviously not, usually I'm in like, like this area come on usually I'm in like this area right here like between moderate and large and then when I left I was between small and moderate just because I was not being the greatest um, so I think that I'm in small I don't think I'm in negative because that's too light but I think small is kind of where I'm at so I'm okay with that I I kind of had a feeling that's where I would be um, so yeah as you can see right there I'm pretty sure don't roll on me yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm in small, so I still, I do have some ketones, but this week I really need to reel it in and like, yeah, because this would be negative and I'm not negative. I think this week I just really need to like reel it in and I'll be fine again. I feel as though I entered, I upped my ketones very quickly. I don't think it took me very long because I tested myself when I first started, I tested myself and I was in like large and it like large amounts of them. And I was on like day four or day five. And sometimes it can take like seven to 10 days to really like see that. Um, so I don't think it's gonna be an issue. I'll take some BHBs just to kind of like help myself get there, I think. Um, but yeah, my plan is just to kind of get back on track this week. Um, and I think I'm actually gonna conclude this vlog here because I'm going to start next week's, next week's, next week's vlog soon, I think. I might start that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you a little update and I'm also doing this because I wanted to hold myself accountable while I was away for the weekend. I didn't wanna be too bad because I knew I would have to come back and report what I did, what I ate. Um, so I think I did pretty good for the most part. I did have like Saturday night, we went out for apps. My dinner, I didn't eat any carbs. I had cauliflower and like fish. Um, and then I just obviously wasn't counting macros or anything and we were eating out so I don't know what kind of like oils and fats they were using to cook. But I tried to be good and do the best I could. Um, and then Sunday morning, I did have some carbs for breakfast. I was just, I needed them. But I had like 
every day I got coffee, I had like heavy cream in my coffee or whole milk or something like that just to kind of like keep me full. So I wasn't really snacking. All the snacks I showed you that I packed, I I don't think I touched any of them. Like I didn't at all. And I just made sure I was drinking a lot of water and stuff. So it is doable. I could have been better, um, but I kind of just wanted to gauge like what I could and couldn't get away with. And I did drink um, and I had, I had all clear liquor. Um, I didn't have any wine, so that, that was no net carbs there. Um, all clear liquor, I think, is zero net carbs. Um, but we were getting like a lot of craft cock, not a lot of craft cock, but I had a few craft cocktails, which they have a lot of juices and like different things, different mixers when normally I would just get like a vodka soda with lime. So I could have probably done a little bit better there, um, but for the most part, I'm really pleased. We went to the beach and stuff and I didn't, I didn't snack, I just drank water. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, so, you know, I'm also looking at this as not a setback. Normally with my eating, if I was doing really good, I would have a cheat weekend and then that would just lead into a cheat week. And I would just like yo-yo like that, just be really good. And then I would have one day and I'd be like, oh, it's already ruined, I'll start again next week. So I think that I'm, getting better about one cheat day or one cheat weekend away isn't going to derail everything. We just gotta reel it in a little bit. And that's why I really like those test strips because I can kind of test myself, see where I am, I know what I need to do, and then I can do it. I'm not just out here like kind of playing a guessing game. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything. I hope you all have a lovely week, a lovely day, whatever it is, whenever I get this up. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.